I will see you every day. No, but for example, Alicia and I, we did that every day. We were roommates, <laughs> like. They we saw each other all the time. <laughs> so they got closer and closer, yeah. but you know. There wasn't a gap like with, between Maya and I because we made time when I was like, well, two weeks from now on this day, can I get the whole day or whatever? Like we want to go do this. And so the thing is, I feel like, and this is the thing, even while in college and no matter what level of friendship or how old you are, if you want to spend time with someone, then you will. I really believe that. I believe that you make time for people. Mm -hmm. um, and Just like you make time to eat. Yep. You make time to sleep. <laughs> Yeah. You make time to watch TV. I'm talking about things that are very chill out. We didn't talk about making time for family. Family is not in that. <laughs> very different category. Just friends. We're talking about strictly friends. Yep. You make time for the other little things, entertainment yep. stuff, making time to go out, making time to do this. You can make time for a person in your life that you really care about. Yeah. And I feel like um, whether you're in college or whether you used to be or whether you just met like two minutes ago like I feel like if you want to connect with someone you will just like if you want to walk out someone's life you know um I think people don't realize the importance of friendship and I I really value my friendship not only with Maya but with anyone who I'm really close friends with um what I've been doing while Maya has been working hard and doing YouTube and all these other amazing things I'm so proud I've been spending time with my mom and what I've seen is that my mother and I are very similar in a lot of ways where we don't have like a million, you know those people who have a million friends. I'm just like, nope, I have four and that's cool. Like, <laughs> and it's really interesting because my mother is that way too. And she's like, listen, my mom, <laughs> um, she's so breezy about things. And I was just like, I want to get on that level because Maya thinks I'm breezy now. Like if I could get to my mom's breezy level, that would be like amazing. <laughs> and. I mean, my mother doesn't not make time for people. She does. If you know, it has to be mutual. I believe in roads and you have friendships. To be yeah, like it makes two people for friendship relationships. So it work. has to be yep. not halfway. Yeah, not no realistic. And she was like, "Well, I mean, that commercial sounds great, but like that's probably took time." You know what I'm about? Poshmark. <laughs> Poshmark. No, we all have seen the Poshmark commercial. I made ten thousand dollars for my wedding. Now, in reality, okay, because I've signed up for Poshmark, you put your clothes on, online, mm -hmm. how many people are going to look at that in, in, on average? A few people, especially if you're really like, hey guys, on social media platforms, check out my, my, my Poshmark, go on. How many people are going to buy something? Not many. Well, selling stuff online is hard. Exactly. It's really you have difficult. to reach that audience, that traffic of people that are looking for what you're putting online. Can we pause? Oh, this is... Mm -hmm. Look at okay. this. And this is not getting edited Ooh. out. Really? Yes. I hate... Just... Raw me! Just, just the magic of editing! And then I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. You know, I blow my camera away. Okay, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm gonna push you off this bed and then you may have to make edits. <laughs> you see how she treats me? I don't do anything at all. Guys. Very innocent. You've seen the video. Y'all, she threw a coat on me. <laughs> Can we pause? <laughs> She arrived, okay, so she arrived on Thursday, and I didn't chase her until Friday. So take Saturday, okay? Jasmine has this like. It still looks heavy like I was coat. beating her. Like if I was just like extremely just. Listen, she has this heavy coat, y'all. And she's gonna say to me, Maya, I just got this coat. It's really warm and it's heavy. I'm like, I was on my phone, so this is why you should never be on your phone and you need to listen. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And she says, feel how heavy this is. And so I'm thinking she's gonna let me hold it. She threw it on me. And I like fell back like this. I'm like, why would you do that? To reconnect it in friendships. Oh, unpause. Unpause. <laughs> anyway, so so Jasmine and I's friendship is, like I said, we're not, we have different groups of friends, but we're, you know, we um, are not perfect friends either. I've had my, I don't think we've had fights. We haven't gotten into fights. But we've probably had like a good, not an intense discussion, but we've had, I think we've had like very constructive criticism conversations. Well, I feel like if you're a friend, you should be able to have those conversations. Mm -hmm. um, I should be able to say, Maya, listen, honey, the outfit you Maya, wore listen, yesterday, uh -uh. It it's me. not for you. It's not for, let me just be honest with you. But I think that's how friendships should be. Because being if it, able to talk about different yeah, with, without you being like you would hate me like storming off because I'd be like, that's not what I said. Like what I said was this is doesn't look right. 
and people. And if you don't like my honesty, feel free to leave. Please walk right out of my life like you walked right in it. Like, I'm totally cool with that because I'm gonna be honest and I'm gonna tell you the truth. And if you don't wanna hear that, then you don't wanna be friends with me. Yeah. And um, my dad used to say, um, he still says this, not used to, like I promise he's somewhere saying it right now. He used to say, um, you ain't got no friends. And he said that, first of all, My mom said that too, not everybody's your friend. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> they are my friends. No, they're not. Yes, they are. And then, yeah. you know, things happen. And it happens at the right moments too. Mm -hmm. Y'all, friendships have been an interesting thing for me. And it still is to this day. Um, you know, trying to fit in. I've talked about fitting in. I've talked about that yeah. before. Um, I've talked about trying to please people. Trying. It's just after a while, it's like, look, here is me. Yeah. You either accept it or you don't. Like nope. Jasmine said, you can walk right out. And that goes <laughs> not just for me, but then also too. I have expectations of how a friend should treat me. Right. Yeah. Recently, I've gone through some situations where I expected too much to the point where. I wasn't meeting my own supposed expectations for them. Mm -hmm. I wasn't a friend to them. I wasn't a loyal friend for them. And that really hit me too because I'm always looking at the next person. Like, they're not doing this. They're not doing that. But then you got to look at yourself. Like, we have this. I'm on my iPhone right now, so we have it flipped to selfie mode. You got to flip the camera and be like, what are you doing? Yeah. And sometimes, not sometimes, most of the time, yeah. that hurts because it's like, dang People don't want to self-examine. I was like, I was too. expecting this person to do this loyal thing, but did I do that loyal thing? And sometimes when you say, get those toxic people out of your lives, well, are you the toxic one? And do you need to remove yourself? Mm -hmm. I had to really put that in perspective. Like I've been the toxic one lately. I need to get myself together, remove myself for a bit mm -hmm. and get it together, realign myself. Mm -hmm. Because um, after a while, it's like you start to become that victim like they did this to me no mm -hmm. sweetie what did you do did you did you look at yourself first so um a lot of self-examination a lot of you allow them to i really thought when maya was talking about we we're gonna do like this video thing i thought she was gonna talk about like, loving yourself and like i had like listed out all the stuff See, okay. and then she texted me and was like this is the topic i was like that's not it my okay. mom gave me this perfect topic guys <laughs> because it's perfect we're reconnecting mm -hmm. we're we've been friends for four years i have some i have a, a few my circle's not big, but I have a few people that I'm still talking to now. Not every day though. Yeah. Uh, but if we were to talk and meet up, we'll just pick up where we left off and yeah. keep it moving type thing. I feel like I have different people in my lives for different reasons. So um, Jasmine, I was like, Jasmine, I haven't seen you in a while. She said, okay, cool. I'm coming on a plan to see you. Yep. Okay. Well, what day are you coming? I don't uh, know yet. She told, and then she said, I don't know. She texts me the next few days. Yeah. I'm coming these days. Cool, I'm taking some days off of work. Yeah. I have a four day weekend, so it's perfect. Um, what were we talking about again? Hey, I'm gonna have to look back at this camera. We were talking about how you can be the toxic person in a situation in your life. No, you're talking about loving yourself. That's oh, what it that. was. Oh, that, okay. Yeah, yeah so that, that topic. <laughs> was, that to I already learn. talked about loving yourself, and I was she discussing did. with my mom, like, here's what we're gonna talk about. She was like, but you've done that already. So you haven't, what about reconnecting? Reconnection, friendships, seeing people again. And you know, I feel like going back to what I said in the beginning of this video, a lot of people ask, so who do you still talk to? Right. And if you were to be honest, I'm just gonna say, I don't talk to many people. Hmm. I'm not ashamed to say that. And it's not to say I don't wanna talk to anybody, but I feel sometimes it's just like, you know what, I'm just trying to, I'm on career mode right now. So I'm trying to get in this film industry right now. Mm -hmm. I'm doing things that are pertaining to my goals right now. Mm -hmm. And friends coming in my life, they're coming in and out. Very point blank. I'm not expecting no more, no less from that. Um, and, and that's just the reality. I was expecting a little bit too much and I got burnt down oh, yeah. several times to the point where I'm crying, wondering why, is it me? And, you know, all these questions really gets to you, gets you in a dark place. We ain't got time for that. It's time to set some goals, some, some things that you want to continue to work on for yourself. And that is what I'm doing with Jasmine. Tying it back to Jasmine. We don't <laughs> talk every day. We don't. We don't FaceTime every day. Sometimes, you know, when I we do pick up the phone, I love hearing, here's what I've been up to for three weeks. I love it. So we were able to talk for a good hour, hour and a half. And then after that, I don't talk to her for another three weeks. That's just the reality of things. Yeah. We may keep in touch through social media. She may send a text here and there, give me a connection here and there. Well, see, that's how our friendship works. It, right. it depends on like, I've been in Florida and I've had zero friends enter my life. 
and it's been wonderful. It's been me being able to spend time with my mom. So I'm not rejecting any friendships or anything. And I meet people all the time. But my thing is, the reason why um, I'm looking for grad programs right now is I wanted a year off with my family, especially after all the things that we've done through, I've been through, and then me going away for college and not being able to spend time with my mother. And so for me, the biggest part of all of that was uh, becoming friends with my parents, which sounds, uh, it may sound silly to some people, but my parents are not only my friends, but they're my support system. They are like, it, it's legit the Lord, my parents right now in my life, because it's us, like it's, it's just the three of us. And so I, I don't need any extra because I have that. I have Cut this video, we're done talking. I'm gonna do my, in, my outro, we're done talking. But can you just dab with me? I will ask you this one time and I won't ever ask the you. The answer is the same. Dab was so mean to me. I anyway. Love you a lot. This is this is how I how I think. Mm. But you can't edit out the sneeze part. No, I'm not going to. I think that's relatable to reconnecting. To sneeze in your vi This is this is how I how I think. Mm. But you can't edit out the sneeze part. No, I'm not going to. I think that's relatable to reconnecting. To see in your re You're reconnecting your lungs to your nose. Get the f <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, this could be a blooper. Yes. I love bloopers. Can you please dab with me? No. Can ask, you just ask me a different question? <laughs> What's my favorite color? Pink. Now you know. I answered that for you. You didn't even answer. Purple. Touch me. The air's gonna come back on again by itself. <laughs> FP. What does FP stand for? So I ate some good chicken tenders and I'm full. Okay. Um the Chinese food deliver. No, see, this is the thing. We were supposed to go to Happy Walk. And she was like, it's cold outside. It's cold. Listen. And how can you not find your boots? You're from Florida. I can yes. watch that word. Watch the actual word talk boots. to someone. And they're like, so where are you going? Florida? And they're gonna be like, what did you say? <laughs> Where? Where are you going? Okay. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning into my channel. This is the Rob Me series, Reconnection and Friendships. I hope the tips that we shared is different for everybody, but this is what works for us. It's going to be different for you. Find what works best for you, but also just know reconnecting is great. Having those friendships is great. It takes two people. It takes effort, but also to work on yourself always. Love yourself first. Be your friend first. So then you know how to be a friend to others because once you learn how to be a friend to yourself, you're able to be that for other people, right? Yep. Yeah. I don't even know that's what I just said. Anyway. Hi. <sighs> Jasmine, thank you so much for coming. Thank you it's for so inviting fun. me. Some chlorine just went in my mouth. Chlorine. <laughs> anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this, this YouTube video. And as always, you know what to do. Dream motivate, create the three simple tips that I use for this channel, a motto for my channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. And ciao.